Hi everyone, this is Prashad Parthiban. Today I am going to talk about submission process in property and casualty insurance. As most of us know, the first and foremost step in getting new customers are done through this submission process and let's see the different steps involved in this submission process. To start with, the first and foremost step is the customer, when I say customer, the insured who needs a policy, they reaches out to the broker or they directly come to the insurance company to get the policies. Most of the commercial lines, the broker helps the customers because of the complexity the policy itself has or some of the personal lines, the customer comes directly to the insurance company. It depends. Again, even for commercial lines, sometimes customers can directly work with the insurance company. So that's step number one, right? The customer reaches out to the broker or insurer for new business policy. Then what happens is the insurance company and the broker, they collect some basic details about the customer, right? And then the coverage details required and some specific information about the underwriting details. Like when I say customer info, their location, their name and everything else. And then coverage details, right? Like if you take workers' compensation, how many employees the company has or if they have, they need a property policy, commercial property, what are their locations or if they need commercial auto, number of vehicles and it goes on like that. Finally, like underwriting details, like if you are giving policies for commercial property, what is their distance between their location and the seacoast so that they accordingly price the policy. So any specific information about the underwriters, underwriting details like their past claim history so that the company, insurance company can determine what is the total premium. So basically all the customer details, coverage details can be collected and it can also have pre-qualification to determine if this customer is eligible for the no new policy or not. If the profile is high risk profile, sometimes the insurance company declines the submission. Once you collect the details and you decided that yes, this is not an high risk profile, we can move forward with this quote or this customer, we quote the policy, the insurance company quote the submission to generate the premium, right? So just to recap, initially customer reaches out to broker or the insurance company, then the insurance company or broker gets details about the customer as well as their coverage needs as well as specific information about underwriting details like their risk, past risk history or like their specific loss exposures and then we quote the policy if the insurance company determines that yes we can proceed with the submission. Now once you have the premium this quote or the proposal is sent to the customer for some legitimate reason customer is also happy so what we do is we generate the policy form so when you say policy forms like what are the documents that are specific to this submission or the new customer and then the payment plan sometimes customer may say you know what the premium is three thousand dollars or in terms of commercial lines sometimes premiums could be twenty thousand k or thirty thousand dollars so they could not pay it in one installment if the customer says i need to split this premium in 10 installments we can do that by selecting the required payment plan then everything is done final process is we need to issue the policy the <coughs> point that we need to think about is sometimes what will happen is customer may need the policy effective tomorrow and they have almost all the details sometimes the insurance company will need specific details to generate the policy documents like if you take commercial auto policies like win number they may need the win number for all the vehicles for some reason if they don't have win number and the customer says i can give it to you in two days they bind the policy which means policy will be effective from tomorrow but the policy documents will not be generated until the customer gets back to us with all the information in that case we bring in this binding concept like we bind the policy which means the policy is effective but technically it's not at issued so once we get all the required details as i told you similar to commercial auto if you get the min number for all the cars then we issue the policy and generate all the policy documents when you say policy documents issuance documents and whatnot all the documents are generated and those documents are sent to the customers the, when i say customers insurance 
So once this is done in the submission process, the important step here is all this information has to be sent to the downstream systems. When I say downstream systems, say if you issue a policy, billing information has to be sent to some billing system, right? And accounting information has to be sent to general ledger. And uh, documentation information has to be sent to document management system. So we have to make sure that all this policy information is paused along all the downstream systems. I hope you like my training videos. If you like my training videos, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye.